Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we are going to be doing a review of the Primeval Series 1 Claudia Brown and Anurignathus figures. Now, these are both based on their appearances in Series 1, Episode 5, as we can tell from uh, Claudia's iconic quote-unquote magenta <laughs> shirt, which plays a fairly prominent role in said episode. And let's take a look into Claudia Brown first. Now in terms of the face, I think they've done a good job in capturing the actress uh, Lucy Brown's likeness. The hair looks really nice and is really well detailed as well. You can see just how many creases have been sculpted in on the back. And it's nice how it's realistically uh, sort of clumping on the shoulders here. And this bit is actually flexible. And the, the detail on this white jacket is fantastic. You can see so many creases have gone into the back and on the sleeves as well. The sleeves are amazing. You can even just barely make out the tiny sculpted buttons on the sleeve here. The hands, they can't really hold much as far as I can tell. I do really love the, the ends of the sleeves here. How they kind of um, broaden out a bit. In terms of articulation, you can twist at, um, it's got movable elbow joints, and you can also twist there. You can also swivel at the shoulders as well. Uh, the, the red shirt underneath as well is really well detailed and sculpted. You can just make out the buttons going down the middle as well. And it's got a really realistically crumpled collar there. And even the, the hollow buttons here, you can make out the metal ring around here which is really cool attention to detail and when we move down to her legs she's uh, you can see she's got this cool looking belt buckle there that's really cool and she also has a swiveling waist joint like the other figures and uh, she also I don't know if you want to make a sort of stand awkwardly like a sort of like a penguin you can do that uh, she's got bendable knees. I'm a bit um, hesitant to move the knees though, because otherwise they these figures struggle to stand. Then we look at the back. We can see uh, that the pockets are kind of obscured by um, the joints here, but it's nice that they sculpted them in. And then the creases on the trousers again is just fantastic we get to the shoes these have been really well sculpted as well and what's pleasant for the the female characters in the primeval toy line is that they tend to have these big they tend to have big heeled shoes especially Jenny Lewis for series 2 we'll get to her eventually and they don't stand as well as the the male figures who tend to have uh, flatter heeled shoes but Claudia tends to stand pretty well so that's uh, that's quite nice Okay, and now moving on to her, I guess you could consider it her co-star, sort of, for the episode. Other than the Pteranodon, of course, which unfortunately never got a figure. It is the tiny pterosaur, Anurignathus. I've got three here, and what impresses me so much about these tiny, tiny sculpts is just how much paint they've managed to fit on. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't want to focus on this little guy. Maybe if I put it in my palm. There we go. You can see there's like this orange going along the bottom of the, the wing membrane and then it's dark brown, the, the both the hands and the feet. And then the head, the underside of the head at least, and the chest are like a cream color. It's just really, really impressive just how much paint they've managed to fit onto such a tiny tiny little figure and it's also clearly the anurignathus from the show and oh wow you can even see there's a tiny speck of red over the eyes i don't know if you can make that out on the camera but i assure you it's there i hadn't even noticed that until i picked it up to look at it that is really spectacular now of course these are quite uh, delicate and very easy to lose and they are quite a soft plastic and uh, that actually leads me on to um, something else I was quite impressed with 
when it comes to uh, these figures that you can they can come in quite a variety of poses like this one for example is very different sorry if you can hear my cat in the background <laughs> this one's wings are much further folded in and they're also chunkier and the feet are also posed in a way that it can actually stand like that which is I think offers some interesting posability for um, if you're going to do dioramas and stuff. And again, the same detailed paint as on the last one. And last but not least, we have this one, which also has a slightly different pose. Oh, and it's got spots next to its uh, outside of its chest here. You can just barely make out there's some tiny orange spots on either side of its chest. That's really cool. What I wanted to point out is that this one, its head is pointed to... Um, it's right, which contrasts with this one, which is looking to its left. And then this one's also looking more to the center. And I think that is some really interesting variety that you can get. So I'm really impressed with these tiny little pterosaur figures, considering that small sculpts like these tend to be very delicate and fragile and they get bent a lot. And they don't tend to have a ton of paint on them. I am so, so impressed by these Anurignathus. They really are spectacular little figures. And if you get a whole group of them, they can kind of swarm Claudia like they do in the episode, which is really cool. So yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with these. They both really look like how they do in the show, which for Anurignathus isn't quite accurate to the real creature, but hey, what primeval creature is really? Um, so if you want to pick these up, my best suggestion would be eBay, as these are unfortunately quite hard to get a hold of nowadays. So overall, these are really good though. If you're a fan of Primeval, uh, absolutely worth picking up. So in terms of the size, um, the standard, I believe, 5 inch figures for the humans. Yep, Claudia stands 5 inches tall. Now for the Ignorignathus, these results will probably vary as the wingspan of this one, for example, is about six centimeters or about uh, just shy of two and a half inches. Whereas this one is gonna be significantly shorter at uh, just around an inch and a half. But yeah, that's all I have to say on these. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.